So there's already a bunch more news already for the Black Clover game. We have quite a bit more information about the game. Not to mention as well that we are going to be seeing a proper full Dell Down gameplay trailer down at Jump Festa alongside with the My Hero Academia game. But we've got a bit more of the huge, like at this point, considering that we only had two characters, which was Asta's Jewel Mode and Noel, the, the cast so far has already increased near triple that now. As we've got Gauch, you know, Luck and Magna are going to be joining the cast as well. And there's a, only a really tiny shot that we're able to see these characters from. And it seems like, if anything, like how big the cat, like the worlds are and I honestly how it's looking out. It looks like it could be like an arena fighter, but maybe it could have a two-on-two -two situation. You could have like a tag team thing for this, like you'd have one-on-one. -on -one. Kind of really reminds me like... Maybe they might do something like the Burning Blood games, where you fight in as one guy, you can tag your other team mem uh, member out, maybe they can do something like that. And I, 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 I hope for something like this. If anything, like, I would like a kind of like, oh, here's your one dude, go at each other. But it seems like a lot, a lot of games these days are a lot more like popular where it's like I can have my two, like my two or three favorite characters. If I could have a team where it's like I'm Asta, oh shit, I need to switch in. Yo, tagging Yavi, let's go like that. All right, let's this time to finish this off right now. All right, I'll have like Magna, let's say, as like my anchor. I'll have him at the back and all that, so he has the most meter, he has the most health, and he'd be able to take everyone out. Like. I could see that. I like ta like uh, like tag team games. Like I really do like the Marvel vs. Capcom stuff, and like adding into it the Dragon Ball Fire with uh, the beta that we were able to get. I love that kind of stuff. I don't think we need or every single game doing that. I like adding a little bit of variety onto it. But when we think about these characters, though, what do you think? Magna, he's got ranged projectiles, he's got his bat that he can use through his melee skills, he has those running shoes that he has with the fire thing, which was like one of the more recent chapters, so I don't think we're going to go as far as like the more current chapters, we're going to probably get to like the anime's material. So honestly, well, there's not so much that I can do, but I can see Magna, he has a little bit of the distance game to him, he can throw his bat, he can use the bat as a, like, and, uh, melee projectile, like he has the scatter shot as well that he'll be able to use, so you already have like a couple of abilities already set up for him. Luck, he's going to be all dedicated on speed, He's gonna, I feel like, uh, like Luck would be a glass cannon, he would go in, use all his lightning abilities, use the lightning armor, try and go in like that, increases his speed, but again like if he gets hit or if he gets knocked around too much he goes down like a sack of shit gauche would be an interesting character like use the mirrors as range projectiles i could see that he has the copy ability as well like you can do some really like fucking funny shit with that and i feel like since he's in it like oh i think the anime is gonna go further like that because it's now been a big guess about whether the anime is gonna like even go up to the zombie invasion or if they're even gonna fully actually commit to the witch arc like a lot of us were saying including myself i still think okay so i feel like if they're gonna have gauche in the series and it, like that's pretty much i believe his arc is right after like the whole zombie invasion so like i can see that i can see that happening straight away like immediately and he has his like, abilities from there and then you know like it's fucking you know of course he was going to be in the game if like let's have a fucking like entire shonen game without their rivals in it yeah let's see how well that goes and i know a lot of people are fans of you know you know uh definitely with his wind powers he seems like he can be a long-range character as well in there he has the hawk he has the eagle he can fly around he seems like a mobility range person but once you get up and close with him he'll be a fucking asshole to deal with so if anything we've got a couple of characters already like even as well when we think about noel noel she has the serpent dragon she has the defense ability as well she would be an intro like i feel like we've got quite a few range characters but it made up immediately where it's like you've got gauch like in there you've got yuno and noel they're your more range combatants but then you've got asta magna and luck they're your more close combat guys but each of them make up asta maybe he won't be able to do like a bunch of the special abilities like people are like asta probably won't have a lot of ranged attack. He might have the one where he absorbs the blast. That would be a cool thing. Asta has a counter to him where if someone fires off the magical ability, maybe he actually is able to like get huge reduced damage on that. And if he absorbs so much of it, he gets an extremely powerful blast. Like it depends how big the arenas are. Maybe they might just give this uh, ability to Asta default like that. He might be able to use the actual like um, anti-magic wave. Like so then, like I said, there's a potential in this game. 
But then again, this is all like theory crafting and all that shit. This is all like going through like the whole like kind of like pedal that we've got until Jump Vesta comes out. So we have a lot of things and like with these characters and where they are right now in the manga, like there's some stuff that we can do with this. Like, guarantee Yami's gonna be a character like immediately. That. I wouldn't be surprised like yeah you know, like Mars is gonna be a character later on. It's gonna be weird if the get if the fucking game gives us more stuff than the anime has. Like we're gonna be seeing characters way before they're fucking supposed to be out there. That it like it baffled me, and I feel like the second core for the anime is just like hopefully just gonna go through a ton of shit fast pace like that. Like where we're gonna be going into so. I'm looking for. I'm. I am looking forward to this game a lot. I will just say I want to get a full gameplay trailer and then I can use some more information. But so far, like I would like some interesting picks in here where it's like let's add some weird ass characters in here. Or like let's see what they're going to be doing. And plus as well, what they're going to be doing with the story mode as well. Like what? Well, where are we going to do? We're we just going to be doing the anime. Like what, what are we going to be doing with this? Like I would like some of the light novel characters in there. They're going to add them in there. Like why the fuck not? They got added into the manga eventually, so might as well. But. Let me know you guys in the comment section down below what you think about all this news so far, the Black Clover, and also as well, are you excited for that gameplay trailer that we're going to be seeing sometime soon? So all for me, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys though, next time.